death can be hard. But in South Africa, caring for the dead can make it even harder. Imagine having to repair or replace tombstones because of vandalism and theft, the inability to visit graves because of safety, or because the grass is so tall you can't even step on it to reach your loved ones. Eyewitness News travelled across five provinces, visiting several cemeteries. Our country's graveyards have been grossly neglected. Aside from the unkempt grass, litters, sunken graves and broken gates are almost synonymous across our grave sites. At the Freire Cemetery, cows and horses can be seen roaming around freely. At the Harry Smith Cemetery, the image of neglect is camouflaged by the beauty of pink and white cosmos. But once you step in, you're confronted with weeds pitching into your legs and frighteningly looking spiders in their webs. At Mountain Rise Cemetery in Pietermaritzburg, fallen trees have broken some tombstones and the area around this site's Wall of Remembrance bears the resemblance to a jungle. The wall itself has been defaced, with urns ripped out and ashes scattered on the ground. These conditions have left families of buried loved ones distraught. It's, it's very much heartbreaking, you know. One would not even at some stage feel like coming here when you know as to what you're going to see when you get to the graveyard. The Nkomo family travels from Pretoria to pay respects to their loved one at the Freda Cemetery. But seeing the site in its rundown state makes the visit more unsettling. It's like, you know, they've just been thrown away. People no longer care about them. A man at the Harry Smith Cemetery, who is constructing a tombstone for his late mother, said it was painful knowing that he couldn't come here regularly to speak to his ancestors. If only like uh, it was clear enough, we could have walked every day to see our loved ones. If only like not visiting them, things happen and we don't know and need answers as well. Community organization, the Mzunduzi Association of Residents, Taxpayers and Civics, has put the owners on the municipality. This is a responsibility for the municipality to come and clean this up. And once it's done, I think the actual families can maintain the actual graves site itself. But you can't expect residents uh, to come here to clean up this Bush. The Msunduzi municipality, which both Mountain Rise Cemetery and Intimbeni Memorial Park are part of, has been under administration for over three years. The community blames the appalling conditions of Peter Maritzburg cemeteries on corruption. You have the cardio deployment that has been um, implemented, which you bring in an un unqualified people into positions. And this is why we actually are having all these challenges and issues because of um, the way things are run. Many families resort to cleaning up the graves of their buried relatives themselves. Just like Ernest Mbambo and his brothers, their parents and another brother are buried at Mountain Rise Cemetery. He wishes the municipality would clean the graveyard at least once a month. I feel so sad because my spouse, they don't want to work. Not even the tombstones of South Africa's historical figures are safe from the desecration. Both tombstones of renowned journalist Nat Nakasa and soccer star Senza Mayiwa are still in pieces as we visited Chesterville Heroes Acre Cemetery. The tombstone of former ANC stalwart Kebi Mapatswe at West Park Cemetery has been damaged twice since he passed away in August last year, but it has now been reconstructed. This is not the way in which to respect the dead. I really can't understand what benefit people derive from it except for some kind of depraved position and attitude. I saw the pain and the damage that this desecration of Comrade Kebby's tombstone caused his wife and his children. It is unacceptable and it is a sad reflection on the moral and ethical state of our nation when this kind of thing happens. Costs for repairing or replacing tombstones are said to run into the thousands.
Eyewitness News contacted the municipalities of the cemeteries visited. These are the responses we received. The Msunduzi municipality has since committed to fixing the fence and cleaning up the sites. The Maluti Apufung municipality blamed torrential rains and lack of equipment for the unkempt grass, but have budgeted for it in the current financial year. They've also stated that the maintenance of the cemeteries must be managed by both the municipality and the family members, whereby families are responsible for the graves. The municipality committed to placing security at the sites to prevent vandalism. They also said other reasons for broken tombstones were stray animals and a kraal would be erected for them. The Pumalela municipality said they've approved a budget to deal with their stray animals problem, but also admitted that they've been struggling financially to service the community as a whole. I can cite an example on how much we are billing on how much in terms of our audited financial statement we have billed 79 million for the previous financial year we have only collected 22 million so it's 28 percent of the collection so it's it's a current reality that you can actually know that how much we are collecting and how much we are constrained but the municipality said it was trying despite their limitations and said they already fence at least two cemeteries within the area We never stop mourning those who've passed on and being able to visit their graves gives us a sense that we're still somehow in communication with them and can still rely on them for some sort of guidance as we navigate this troubled world. Families say the appalling state of graveyards blocked this from happening.